We're trying to move away from fossil fuels to be more sustainable, but then we're using these rare earth materials in the electric motors of the EVs. And so I wanted to figure out a way where we could have electric car motors that don't use the rare earth materials and would therefore be more sustainable. And I know there are designs out there that don't utilize the rare earth materials like the synchronous reluctance motor I ended up going through 15 versions of my motor before getting a successful prototype. So I'd say, you know, kind of like learning it all myself, you know, through the trial and error was was difficult because I mean, reluctance motors are they're pretty complicated machines as as one would imagine. I made a pair of boots that allow me to run faster. It's like a, it's kind of like a, a pair of stilts uh, with this lever that bends and it stretches a bundle of spear gun cords, which stores like elastic and elastic potential energy, allows you to run faster. And on the second version of those boots, I actually got up to 22 miles per hour uh, with that machine, which is almost Olympic level running. So I thought that was a pretty cool project. Seeing the day when EVs are, are fully sustainable, you know, due to the help of something like my electric motor innovation, that would, that would be a dream come true for me.
you walk uh, along a river in any city, uh, it's only in Paris where you get uh, these stalls with wonderful books. We just saw something, uh, a magazine, the Time magazine, yeah. of when we were born. So somebody kept this for 60 years. My yeah. goodness, wonderful. Yeah.